Well, on my last video, you saw me sticking on window tint and one-way vinyl for the back windows of a van. And, uh, well, I've been back into it again, back to my old tricks and sticking on sticky stuff everywhere. Uh, so don't peel away, stick around, and I'll show you what I've been up to. This video was made possible by KVM Freedom and Stealth Camper Vans, keeping your dream to be free right on track. Uh, some of you probably remember from my earlier video I had a Star Wars van, it was a black van called Darth Vader and uh, someone, came, someone came along and, and bought that van and drove it away <laughs> and I actually miss it, I love that van. Well I can probably say I love all my vans, I've probably built nearly 30 of them now and uh, I'd have been happy to keep every single one of them. I would have a driveway and a yard full of El Grand camper vans. I just love them. I'd have been happy to keep all of them. Uh, but I am trying to run a small business, so I did have to sell them and keep the cash flow going. And that's why my Star Wars van disappeared, as, as, as was my USS Enterprise. Uh, I have to keep the business going, so I need cash flow. But I do miss my my Star Wars van, my Darth Vader, the black one. You'll see one of my my videos um, from way back when I went to Clark's Beach camping and I had the black um, Star Wars van and uh, it was great. There was something special about it and I missed it. But I've just got another black van now and uh, because I miss Darth Vader so much I've decided to uh, to do this one out with a Star Wars theme as well. So this one's going to be sort of uh, Darth Vader the second, I think. But I've started work on it already. I got quite excited, and because uh, I've got a camping trip coming up with some of the other El Grand Club members, uh, some of the other people I built vans for, we're going to meet up and go for a little trip and go camping. And I always love catching up with with ex customers, previous customers who have bought my vans. They're just so happy. We love meeting up and going camping together. Uh, so that's going to be great to see them again. And uh, I've started work on this van. Of course the first thing I did is got out my sticky stuff and put some dark tint on the windows. And uh, the van is black, it's quite dark, so I knew the dark tint would make it look sort of quite sleek and quite special. Uh, so I've done that. I also decided to get creative with the sticky stuff and put some murals on this black van and uh, some Star Wars kind of murals on it. I've never done that on a van before. I've thought about it. I've often thought about getting an airbrush and do some airbrushing. I would love to do some airbrushing murals on vans like those old custom vans you used to see. Uh, but it's a skill I've never sort of developed and I've never had the airbrush or the equipment to do it. You never know, one day I might uh, give it a go. Uh, now I've put a lot of um, I suppose I've put a uh, window one way on and I've put tinting on and I've put a lot of signs and letters on different vans that I've had as well but I've never actually put a mural on. Uh, first I thought I was going to paint the picture onto the vinyl and then stick the vinyl straight onto the van uh, but I decided not to do it that way and I don't have the airbrush to do all the painting so I've just got a couple of murals uh, printed out. I designed them on my computer, see how they look and they look pretty good so I had them printed out and put onto vinyl, printed out onto vinyl and I've stuck them on the side of the van and uh, I think they look quite special so I'm going to show you that it was a big job sticking them on I tell you it's not cheap to get them printed out and if you make a mistake and got to throw the vinyl away oh there's all that money gone you got to print it out again uh, but there were two of us doing it so we were very very careful and we got the murals uh, stuck on okay um, it makes the van stick out a bit, it makes it a bit uh, noticeable, but that's okay. I've got my YouTube channel across the, black, the back window, and I do want to draw attention to my, to my business. So uh, I don't mind if it gets a bit of attention and people look at it. It's, it's a bit of good exposure for the, for the company, I guess. 
and uh, uh, I have a lot of people approaching me and, and wanting to start up a conversation and chat about the van and chat about uh, what I'm doing and things like that so it is does create a lot of good opportunities to talk about uh, my business and the camping vans that I build anyway let's have a look around the van and uh, I'll show you these murals that I put on being black the van does lend itself well to signs and murals but of course it's so shiny it's very difficult to see anything All the little stars are cut out and stuck on by hand. <laughs> it's all about patience. One done, another three billion to go. I haven't actually started work on the inside of the van yet. Uh, I've taken taken one of the seats out. I may take some more seats out. Uh, probably end up taking them all out actually, but I'll see how I go. Um, yes. So I haven't done much on the inside. I've got a couple of other vans that I need to work on and get done. Uh, and uh, of course my paid work has to come before uh, my own van, of course. <laughs> But I need to get busy on it. I want to meet up with um, with the the other guys and the other people who have bought uh, vans off me. We're going to camp, going to go camping together. So I need to get something done and set up for that trip. Well, I'm kind of thinking now. What am I going to put on the other side of the van? If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this vid, please subscribe, click on the like, and make a comment. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time I put a new vid up on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Talk soon.